Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to delete duplicates from your iPhoto library and increase the application's performance. When I saw that my library was clogged with duplicates, I tried using several applications to clean it up. The most complete application I found was Tidy Up. It provides lots of different types of search options for different tasks, such as cleaning the iPhoto, Aperture, iTunes, and Mail libraries. So now I will go through a search in iPhoto and show you a few of the many amazing features that TidyUp has. The first thing that I do is select the iPhoto library as the location in which to scan. As you can see, you can select single events or albums to search in. I use this great feature, especially when I get pictures from other people. Sometimes they mix up their pictures, and when I import them, I get copies of the same photos. I just run tidy up through the last event, and in a few seconds, it's cleaned. You can also select other locations other than the library. You may find this helpful if you want to delete photos in your computer that have already been imported into iPhoto. So now I'm ready to select the type of search. Usually, it's recommended to use the content-only search. Tidy Up will check the content of the pictures and select all the ones that are exactly the same, no matter what their names or other attributes are. The difference between the duplicate and similar section is that in the former, Tidy Up will compare the items also by their content. In the similar section, you may find useful the XF tag search especially when you have lots of modified pictures whose content is different but with the same tags. Or the date taken search, which will report all the shots in sequence that were taken in the same second. You should also check the report missing photo option, which will find all the images whose original file is missing from the library. If none of these searches satisfies your needs, you can build your own in the advanced mode where you will find lots of other criteria, both for pictures and other files. Once the search is performed, a new window will appear, where you'll be able to manage the duplicate files. Now comes the best part of the application. TidyUp automatically gathers the duplicates in a smart basket, depending upon your needs. If you don't care where the photos reside, you can directly trash the contents of the smart basket all but one item of each duplicate group. If, on the other hand, you want to use specific filters, you can create your own smart basket from this button. For example, you can decide to select all the pictures in a specific album or event, or to trash all the newest pictures. Just remember to always select an option from the For Each Duplicate Group section. This way, you'll be sure that at least one item for each duplicate group will be kept. If the files that you need to manage are few, you can create a manual basket and drag the items into it. Now that you have created your basket, you have several options to manage the items in it. You can trash the contents of the basket, move or copy the picture to another folder or hard drive, export the file list, or even burn a CD to back up the items and be certain that you don't lose any important files. Another useful search is to find all the photos in your computer that have not been imported into the iPhoto library yet. Just select that search from the miscellaneous collection, and in the new window, you'll have all the pictures that are not contained in the iPhoto library. I hope you have found this helpful. Please subscribe to my channel and visit www.speedyourmacup.com for more information. And don't hesitate to contact me for more videos and tutorials.